underscore crew. Use the hashtag Starliner. Show us how you're watching today's launch. And as we mentioned before, we are launching from Cape Canaveral, located on the eastern coast of Florida. And joining us now is a special guest who has a vested interest in what happens here in the Sunshine State. Daryl Nail is with us again with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. That's right, Joshua. We are here with uh, Governor DeSantis. Thanks for joining us and taking the time. You're here for the launch. You've been here for a few days. Did you get a tour? Uh, well, we just came from the briefing, which was very interesting, and um, yeah, this is an exciting day. Uh, I would say wake up bright and early, but it's not even bright yet. It's so <laughs> early, but it, but this is really great. I mean, this, we really in Florida are proud of what's going on here at Kennedy Space Center. We think this is the epicenter of all the, the new innovations with space, particularly the commercial uh, government partnerships. And so we think this is going to be great, and then we look to continue to do this and, and get American astronauts uh, back up into space and eventually on the moon. You recall here in Florida, Florida, the retirement of the space shuttle program in 2011, um, that kind of shook the state for a while, especially here at the Space Coast. Oh, big time. Uh, Jim Bridenstine, the NASA administrator, and I both got elected to Congress in 2012. My district was just north of here, starting in Volusia County. So we had a lot of people who would work here who lived in that district, in the southern part of that district. And uh, you could tell, I mean, it was a... Um, you know, really bad time uh, for, for here. And it was almost like, you know, we were so proud of everything's going on here. It's like, what's happening? Well, I think, you know, we're back with a vengeance now. So it's really exciting to see uh, the direction this is going. You see a turning corner and getting commercial. Would you ride on one of these spacecraft? I think it would depend on the circumstances and everything, but um, I think I think I'd be more of a liability than anything for them. So I don't know if they want me on there. Well, I mean, you know, these these people really know what they're doing. Yeah. So you know, they're autopiloted now. The, so the, right. So if you if you decide you want to change okay. your mind, you'll let us know. Governor, thank you so much. Yeah, thank and you. Enjoy the launch. Appreciate it. All right, we'll send it back to you guys. Thanks to both of you. We are definitely back in a big way. And now about 44 minutes from launch, um, we want to take a look again at Launch Complex 41. Starliner sitting atop Atlas V, getting closer and closer to liftoff. And today's orbital flight test is our dress rehearsal for launching astronauts. Boeing is proud to be sending veteran space shuttle astronaut Chris Ferguson on our next launch, the crew flight test, to the International Space Station. Ferguson will join NASA astronaut Mike Fink, who is no stranger to the space station. Fink served on two long-duration flights as its science officer and commander, and he flew on Space Shuttle Endeavor's final mission. Now, the third crew member is NASA astronaut Nicole Mann, and Boeing's crew flight test will be her first trip to space. The trio have been training for every aspect of the mission together, learning the Starliner systems, and preparing for life and work aboard the International Space Station, where they could be staying for up to six months. The crew has been training for both routine and emergency operations on the ground and in flight. But keep in mind, Starliner is not going to be empty for this flight. It is packed with almost 600 pounds of NASA cargo. And we also have an anthropometric test device who will teach us a lot about what this ride will be like for the astronauts. Meet Rosie. She's the Starliner's commander for this very first mission. We named her after Rosie the Riveter, an icon who inspired generations of women to join aerospace. Today, Rosie the Rocketeer is flying for everyone on our team who took on the challenge of human spaceflight and said we can do it. Her flight isn't just symbolic. She has 15 sensors that will collect valuable data we'll use to make sure the future astronauts stay safe and healthy on Starliner. And she has a companion with her. There you see Snoopy. He's getting another chance to go to space. Snoopy has a long history with NASA going all the way back to the Apollo program when we sent astronauts to the moon. And now Snoopy's a part of the next era of human spaceflight with commercial crew and NASA's Artemis program. He's